Hello there everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to get your model from Blender to Unreal Engine. And for this I'm going to use this model that we have here, uh, it is called Bully. And basically what we are going to do here is we are going to get not only the model here that we have, but we are also going to get one animation so you can see how it works to get both of these into Unreal Engine. For this tutorial, we are going to see how to make it for Unreal Engine 5, but it should work the same with Unreal Engine 4. So, basically, the first thing that we are going to do is get one add-on, uh, which is called Blender for Unreal Engine, that you can find here. I'm going to leave the, the link in, down in the description. And uh, then from this page, we can come all the way down here, now the stable version of it is the 0.3.0 the only thing you need to do is download this and then we are just going to get this blender for real engine zip click it and then download done now the thing we need to do is the same process as every other add-on that we install in blender so we come here to edit preferences we come here to add on and then we install it find the location where you you downloaded it but since i already have it installed um, i'm not going to install it again but the only thing you need to do is click it and install add-on nice and then it's going to get this add-on here so blender for real engine and now that we have this add-on installed the only thing we need to do is press the end panel select the armature so this year is most likely going to be here in auto we are going to change it to export recursive and then here we are going to have a bunch of options but the the main things is to have this one here tick so export only the bone bones if you want you can leave it like like this so create a physical asset and for now we are not going to send the animations we're going to send it separated first we're going to send just the skeletal mesh and then after it we are going to export the animation so leave it like that for now go all the way down here and we can choose the naming convention that we want to want to use i don't like to include the, the armature name in the in the animations and things like that and I also deleted these uh, suffixes, but you can keep it in the way you want. And then here are the things that we are actually going to export. So since I just want the skeletal mesh to be exported, I just have the skeletal mesh here ticked. And all the other ones I'm not going to have. So another thing that's very important is to have this export only select. And this way, basically you're going to export just the one you have uh, selected and if you want you can check for potential errors in this model's case it's going to have some errors for example unreal engine unsupport uh, single read bone but the thing is since we are only exporting deformed bones all the non-deformed bones are not going to be exported such as the controllers that i have here so it's actually going to export in the correct way so you have to, to have that in mind and then after we have this the only thing we need to do is click this button here so export to unreal engine and done basically what this year is going to do is it's going to create an export fbx file in the same place where you have uh, your blend file so let's check it out okay and so here i'm in the folder i see i have this goalie here which is the one that we are working on and then we have this exported fbx open it there's going to be the skeletal mesh and after we're going to see there's going to be the animations as well so clicking here i'm going to have the armature which is the name of the armature that we have here and then inside this armature we are going to have the name of the armature again which is armature here but i'm going to delete this one because i want this armature to have the name of goalie nice and 
now basically we have everything that needs to be added and the only thing we need to do is to import it to Unreal Engine and to do that I already have here Unreal Engine open we are just going to drag and drop it here minimize it now that we have it opened here the only thing we need to do to get uh, the shape keys that we we have in the model we have to get this guy here so advanced we have to open it and then we are going to have to tick this guy here so import more target so with it tick we just import all of it and there we go now that we have it we can test it out we can open it here and then we are going to have all the the bones working just fine and this is one of the most important parts of it okay so now that we have the model here the thing that we need to import now is going to be the animation and to do that the only thing we're going to do is uh, go back to blender and then we are going to have an, an animation that you want to be exported as the active animation so for example here I have this uh, little walk animation and I want to export this one and to do that what I'm going to do is go up here a little bit and we are going to the animation properties in this one I'm going to change this from auto to for some time and then I'm going to set the animation time here which is going to be from 1 to 120 just like we have down here and this action to export we are going to export current and then we are going to export just the animation that we have right now and then now the only thing we need to do is uh, mask the animation and unmask the skeletal mesh but with the version I'm, use, I'm using here it's a little bit bug so when I export the animations actually exporting the mesh together with it but then one thing that I found that works the same way is to select the mesh and you can unparent it so we can clear parent and then we export so we can export it and if you want to, to make it go back to, to how it was before you can just select the model select uh, the armature again and then we are going to from here parent and then we are going to parent with empty group so it goes back to the way it was before okay so select this guy and I'm going to unparent it and so here clear parent select the armature and then now we export it for unreal length nice it's going to go to basically the same place so I'm going to open here unreal engine and now we can see that we have this anim folder here in the same place that we had the, the armature exported so we open it and there's going to be your animation so now the only thing you need to do is drag it here and then it's going to show all the the things that it has and here it's going to choose a rig so we can use and basically this one's going to be the goalie skeleton which is the same one as we have here and that's basically it now we just import all and that's it now it's done and we can check it out here and to see if it's working this the way it should and as we can see it is so i hope it worked for you as well see you in the next one bye